It's Oscar with Strictly Shisha and Zach. You guys know me. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the Hu Puka model Apex C. Uh, this Hookah is from Russia. It's made in Russia, just like me. And, and this hat. And the hat, right? Don't and, forget the hat. And the hat. And this is a highly anticipated review. I know you guys wanted to see this, been begging for it. Oscar came over one day, we shot the review. I just didn't like it. I thought I didn't give you guys enough information. I was made too many mess ups. So we're redoing this. Make sure it's good quality because I know you guys expect good quality from us. And Oscar does a great job always. So I don't want my video to make him look bad. <laughs> so getting to this hookah, Oscar, visually, and you now smoked it multiple times too. Yeah. But visually, what do you think about this pipe? So my initial thoughts was, wow, it's a really good looking hookah. It's high quality. Uh, it definitely looks like the price you paid for it. You know, you walk in, it's a very impressive hookah. Uh, and this is probably my nine times smoking it and it still looks as impressive as the day I first saw it. Yeah, I've been testing this out a lot, smoking it since that review, since I got it many, many months ago. By the way, thank you Brandon for sending us this hookah. Thanks Brandon. I really love it. It's a great pipe and thank you for exposing me to hookahs around the world and the Russian markets and the German markets. It's been a great experience learning about them. And the Russian market, I've learned a lot um, since getting this hookah. And I know that a lot of Russians don't think this is the highest quality hookah, maybe compared to other hookahs, but I have no qualms with the quality so far. Aesthetically, it's a traditional look with a modern simplistic twist, even the twist in the pipe here, you <laughs> see that? It's cool. And you start with the bottom here, you have a genie style base. This is what they refer to as the orbit base. It does have a light on the bottom. Oscar, why don't you demonstrate the light for us? All right, so yeah, the light. Oscar's uh, favorite part, the kids always like the toys. Has a little remote. And so you can basically change the color and you can kind of change its colors on its own. And one thing I really like about it is that it's actually separate from the hookah. It doesn't actually go inside the base. There's a little pocket underneath, which is really great because you don't want to go fishing for it later and it doesn't get wet, it doesn't cause problems later. Yeah, I really like the indentation in there. Um, the glass is not super thick, it's not German quality glass by any means, but it's nice and clear. Earlier today I was getting this nice and spiffy for Oscar to come over. I dropped this portion here, and this portion weighs about a half a pound. I dropped this height from here, hit the glass, no problem at oh, all. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty strong. It's not as thick as you might imagine, but it's still a very nice base. I personally love the Genie style bases because you get that nice thick clouds. Now it does affect the purge, but we'll get that in a minute. But I love the base on this. Definitely my style of base. Nice wide base, so it's sturdy, doesn't wobble or anything. It's a great overall base. Yeah, really good base. Uh, feels really good in the hand. Um, not too heavy, not too light, like Zach said. I have no problems with it. Moving on up into the stainless down stem. At the very bottom, you do have a diffuser that is machined in. This is a CNC machined hookah, so I love when they machine in the diffusers. I personally am a big fan of diffusers. Do you use diffusers? I don't really use diffusers that much, um, but I do enjoy it every time I do use it because you don't have any rumble, no sound, doesn't disturb you when you're watching a movie, so it is a great aspect to have in hookah. It's the point where like Oscar and I can have a conversation, he can smoke as we are now, and it wouldn't like overpower or anything if you're watching a movie, it's great. And moving on up the stainless down stem into the heart, this does actually have four ports in it, but this oh. is a single hose hookah. They have multi-hose hookahs as well, but I have a single one hose today. The ports on here are the host port and the purge port. The purge is actually almost like an external purge. It's a beautiful purge with a plastic ball in there. Both of the ports come out with silicone O-rings. Very, very secure, so I like that. What do you think about the ports on there, man? Uh, the ports, symmetrical. Uh, I really have not much to say. They're just basic ports in my opinion. They do the job, they do what they're supposed to do, and they don't uh, compromise the whole image of the hookah. I think it's a very simplistic small heart doesn't take away from the design You're right. I really like the heart on this very good quality very very heavy and everything does unscrew to clean So Oscar and I actually had this conversation in the last part of the review Discussing taking apart the hookah and if he likes the threaded parts or he likes a single solid down stem Now Oscar, what is your opinion on the hookah that takes apart? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of hookahs you have to take apart uh, mainly because when I clean my hookah, it's easier if it's just never all never cleans those hookahs, ever. I clean them <laughs> all the time with lemon juice. 
I get worried about losing pieces and it's kind of a hassle to uh, untwist and you're worried about threading and just in general it's much easier if you just have one big piece. Now I was always concerned about that as well but now that I've had this hookah for a long time I've cleaned it out many many times the threading on this is solid it's not super beefy it's not like German threading or even the threading on the Prometheus but it's solid threading I'm not worried about cross threading it I've cleaned it out many times I haven't lost pieces Personally, I like being able to take this apart and cleaning it and knowing that's high quality and it's going to stand the test of time because I've tested it out quite a long time now. So, Austin and I differentiate on that opinion about taking the hookah apart, but I know he likes the sleeve-like design of this piece here. These two pieces actually come off in a sleeve-like, almost like the Sahara Smoke Executive with this nice piece of wood here and just you can clean it all nice out there's no residue or anything builds up in that so I personally like that aspect of it so another thing I like about this nice design is that when you put it together even though I don't like hookahs that you put together there are pins that kind of help with the stability to help lock in the sleeves going up down the stainless stem yeah and the pin actually mine's stuck in there so which is great so I'm not worried about losing that pin but it just slides right in there so this bottom portion does not move and when everything's properly screwed in nothing at the top moves either now the hose port this hose port is kind of funny I think that when you take out the hose port, it's like I said, it's a silicone o-ring. It's a dedicated hose port that's designed for this hookah, which is nice because it easily comes out and puts it back in. Let's say you're done smoking or whatever, you just wanna pull it out and be done. But it makes it hard to affix other hoses to this. Mm -hmm. Originally, I thought I could put a D-hose right over this, but it's actually not thick enough. So if you wanna use this piece and use a D-hose, you're gonna have to wrap some electrical tape around it to make it a wider gauge because this hose is actually more narrow than a D-hose. Now I have noticed though, you can put a grommet straight in this port here, something I actually noticed today, and put a hose in there. So that actually eliminates the problem, which is something I was really concerned about and something I voiced my opinion in the last video that I thought this was gonna be terrible because I hated using this hose over and over, especially when I switched it out for like a double apple hose or whatever, I was stuck using this hose. But now, talk about the hose, Oscar. What do you think about the hose? Yeah, so I like the hose uh, a lot. It feels really good in hand. It's not too heavy like a lot of the aluminum B hoses. Uh, as you notice, the tip, goes along with the style of the rest of the hookah. It has this nice little twist spiral uh, tip. It feels really good in your hand, uh, not too clunky. Now, how's the malleability of the silicone? Yeah, so it bends really nicely. It's not very stiff. Honestly, I, a lot of times when I have my other silicone hoses and I'll move it, or I'll move it along the couch, it'll kind of knock the hookah with it. It'll kind of pull it with it. So I really like that this is very flexible. We're testing to make sure it's still smooth. Yeah, it's still smoking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really like it. That's all I have to say. So the malleability is better than a D-hose. It's actually a little bit longer than a D-hose. And the gauge is a little more narrow compared to a D-hose. And this is the standard wave hose that comes with every hookah. Overall, I really like this hose. I would actually use this hose on other hookahs. But the thing is, for me, sometimes I want to put a different hose on this hookah when I'm specializing in flavors and stuff like that. But now that we figured out the solution to that, that's not a problem at all. Moving on up the down stem into the stem here. Like I said, it's a sleeve-like design. Really, really nice. I love the design on this. Matches the hose perfectly. Going into the tray. Now, Oscar mentioned in the other review, like I said, we're gonna keep referencing that one, but he thought the tray was a little small. Yeah, so, um, it's a good tray. It looks good. It's very basic design. You see a lot of other hookahs. It's not, nothing very special. I do think it's a little small. I like my trays bigger in diameter. And I also like my trays with a little lip for more security and peace of mind. So that is one qualm I have with the tray. But it is a high quality tray, it weighs about a half a pound. I mean, really nice in hand. I really like the tray on this, it's super solid. No way you're gonna bend it with one hand at all. I think it's a great tray. For me, personally, I have no problems with it. I actually really love that it screws into the top of the bowl port, so you don't have to worry about it moving around or swiveling or anything like that. It's very, very secure on here. Moving on up into the bowl port, they have built-in O-rings on the bowl port. Nice. First hookah I've seen like this, so nice. I love the fact that you don't have to use a grommet on some bowls. Some bowls you still have to double the rubber, but it's nice that they added that feature on there. You make sure your bowl is nice and secure. And they've even added a second O-ring on the bottom of the bowl port, which I'll show you guys now, to affix to this tray here so it doesn't move at all. So it's, it's overall, a lot of thought went to this hookah. I'm really impressed, honestly. It's a very stable hookah. It doesn't flop around, doesn't move around a lot. Um, really impressed so far. So we've gotten the design, the quality, you know, all those things. But Oscar, most importantly, how does it smoke? Take a few so, <laughs> Smoke's great. I have no problems with the uh, smoke. Uh, it's not too restricted. It's not too wide open. It's really in the middle. Yeah, I think it's really 
really great to smoke out of. Honestly, it's a, I can see this as being an everyday hookah for me. Is it more restricted than your KM? Is it more restricted than your Starbucks? Talk about the restriction in comparison of hookahs that they might know. So definitely, uh, I have a Shika and it is more restricted than my Shika. Uh, but compared to my Starbucks, it's basically on par with my Starbucks. Um, I find the draw to be perfect for my liking. It's not overly restricted. It's not overly open where you lose flavor. I think you get a great balance of smoke and flavor out of this pipe. And you can always adjust the water levels accordingly. I have the water level a little higher right now because I like the little bit of restriction. It's about an inch and a quarter above this line. And the line on here, I don't think is a water level line because if you put the water level there, it's not gonna smoke at all. So I personally like it about an inch and a quarter above that line is what my point of reference is for smoking. My opinion on the smokeability overall this pipe this is a top tier pipe smokeability. I mean, this compares with my B2, my Starbuzz, all of my great pipes. This smokes just as well as my opinion. I mean, you guys can see the clouds right now. It is ripping. Very pleasurable smoke out. This thing rips. It's great. Yeah. Right, Oscar? I mean, it's ripping, right? It's, it's great, honestly. It very effortless inhales and keeping all the flavor. Really great clouds. I'm really enjoying it. It's fantastic smoking pipe. It does come with this bowl. Oh my god, the hose fell out on camera. Here we go, Oscar. Right. Now is when you talk about it. What happened just now? All right, but that wasn't planned, but I'm glad it actually happened. Yeah, great. So, one of the things is it is a very malleable hose, but it does kind of slip out of the hose port. And so my recommendation to that is the hose port itself, and we'll take it out since you know we're on camera. This is live, you know, technically live, edited, <laughs> super edited, but live. Okay, the length on this piece here, which affixes to the silicone itself, needs to be longer. The D hose, the golden desert hoses, all the silicone hoses that I've used, even the German ones, they have a longer portion here so it doesn't slide off. It does have a little nipple at the end, but that doesn't really make a difference. As you guys saw, it just slipped off. So that is a growing concern every day that I smoke with it. The more that this stretches out, the more it seems to fall out. Never did it at the beginning, never did it in the last review, but recently it's been doing a lot more. But like I said, you can put a grommet straight in there and you can fix that problem. But this is a problem, very easy fix for them. Make this piece a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay. Now, we are smoking today and it's ripping some trifecta. Oscar loves lychee, right? I love trifecta lychee. It's great. It's some good yeah. stuff. Put a pinch of lavender mint in there. And of course, your favorite mint mixer. Twice the ice. Oh my gosh. I recently ran out. So when Zach was like, let's shoot the review, I was like, oh, whatever you pack, make sure there's some twice the ice in it. And we are smoking this in a Goodfella V3 bowl. We have three Cocoa Earth cubes on here right now with the Ottoman Ignis. But this hookah does come with a bowl. It's a very cool bowl, it's a square style funnel with the rook-like indentions in it with a metal screen. Um, this bowl does not need a grommet, fits perfectly with the silicone o-rings they have on top. But I thought this bowl was a little low quality, it's made of ceramic technically, and it doesn't heat evenly. So I'm not using this bowl, I have tested it out, but I prefer a high quality bowl like the Goodfellow V3. Now in terms of the silicone o-rings, I always worried about the silicone o-rings with the heat degrading over time. And all the silicone o-rings from the one that separates the down stem to the top part, and I'll show you guys a picture of that, to the ones in the hose port and the purge, and the ones on top here, I figured after time they're gonna break down. And where am I gonna get some Russian o-rings? Granted, you can probably find o-rings anywhere, probably on Amazon, yeah. but I really wish they would've provided more o-rings with this package, like you get with your Zara hookah. But even today, after smoking at least like 100 bowls out of this, and beating it around or whatever it may be, I've had no issue with the O-rings that have not broken or gotten lost or anything like that. So originally that was a big point of concern for me, but as of today, there's no problems with that. I just wish they would have included some extra O-rings just in case. Another thing, kind of, I thought we had some problems with the Purge a little bit. Do you think we have problems with the Purge? Why don't you tell me? What's your opinion on the Purge? So after this Purge, I'll show you guys real quick. Damn, like a choo-choo train, blowing it right out. So Purge is really nicely, no problems there in terms of uh, blowing into the hose, but I do think it, it doesn't get all the clouds. It's not a very clear purge. You don't clear out the base with it. So Austria doesn't think it's very efficient in terms of clearing out all the smoke. I know with this style base, with any gray hookah, you have a problem with that. You know what I mean? This base style does not allow it to be cleared evenly, but this is a traditional chamber. You have a dedicated purge port, but Austria thinks it's still not efficient. But the ability to actually purge out, I mean, this is a very, very smooth purge, effortless purge, just like the B2, the Starbucks, etc. Maybe even easier because it has a nice light plastic ball in there. But a lot of people have a concern with the purge. They said it doesn't evenly purge out. But I personally don't have a problem with it because my bowls don't get that hot where I have to purge like the whole thing. You know, I kind of just do it out of habit, just to get a little bit of smoke out. It's just not something I'm used to. It's something I guess I would have to get used to because my other hookahs, they purge uh, not effortlessly, but they do do a complete purge. Now, my girlfriend hates that. She likes to hit every hit fresh. 
She wants nothing in the base, not a single ounce of smoke in there. But she doesn't like that because when she purchased like Zach, it's not clearing. And I'm like, I'm sorry, it just doesn't clear. Like, what am I supposed to tell you? It's not harsh, I promise, but it just doesn't clear. So I know a lot of people online, owners of this pipe, they have the same concerns that it doesn't purge all the way, but I personally don't care. It works great for me. Personal preference, I guess. Yeah. So Oscar, I know you said it smokes great. Overall, this hookah retails for about $300, a little bit less than $300. I know Five Star has it, John has it, Oxide Hookah has it. A lot of great vendors are carrying this pipe, importing it for you from Russia. I know I got this directly from Moscow in four days, directly from the Hoob website. Knowing this hookah costs $300, what do you think? Worth so, it? Yes. Now, I'm gonna give you the opinion from a cheap smoker. So I don't spend as much as Zach does on hookahs. Now, for me, this would be like a once in a while type of buy. This would be like my birthday or a special occasion. Which is coming up this week, so <laughs> Oscar sent him gifts, you know, he likes cake and more hookahs and tobacco for yeah, me to smoke. Definitely some cake. Um, so I can see this as like, if I haven't bought a hookah in a while and I really want, you know, something different, something really nice I can show it to my friends, then I would buy this hookah. If, because it's nice enough to show off to your friends? Yes, because it's nice enough to show off to your friends, it smokes great, you're not gonna have any problems with it, and overall it's a very impressive hookah. So I would say for that price point, being coming from Russia, and I get stuff from Russia all the time, and I send stuff to Russia, I know shipping can be expensive, I think for that price point it's very fair and very appropriate for this hookah. But just being someone who doesn't spend as much money on hookah stuff, that is your point of concern. That's my point. Uh, I would definitely buy, just but like kind of a once in a while kind of thing. I wouldn't just splurge on it, you know. But my tax refund is coming, so maybe I might just buy it. For me, to get a stem for $200 at CNC Machine, that is almost a standard now. Most great pipes are $200, if not more, except for the Zara, that's an exception, you know. And then you get a base with it, although it's not crystal base, but I think for $289 or $299, to get a hookah that's Russian made, different to the US market, not readily available, very unique, smokes great, high quality, the whole package, all in one, you get a bowl, hose, everything. I think it's a good deal. I would buy it again. I'm gonna think about buying another model. I mean, the Mars bronze. Oh my good, you should see this one. This one is gorgeous. Oh man, they I have, love bronze too. <laughs> they have the futuristic line, which is the ones almost like the Cloud. I think, by the way, disclaimer, I hear they came out before Cloud one did. Mm. So, I mean, beautiful hookahs, great designs. I think to get them here in America now, it's great. You don't have to import them like I do. Who does offer free shipping worldwide? If you guys are interested, we'll wow. put their information below. So you get free shipping on this. Nice. And I doubt you have to pay taxes because it's not America. <laughs> so it's great. Personal opinion on this, it's a great buy. I would personally recommend it to you guys. I think you guys will really love this pipe. Except for the hose. No one likes the hose. Yeah, but I'm glad we uh, shot this review again because now we have more insight into it and we know more about the hookah. And it is. In my opinion, it's like kind of one of the first pipes from Russia really to make it to America. So it's kind of going to be like a cultural shift, I feel, in the hookah community based on this pipe. Yes, I agree. And I mean, a lot of people own these pipes now, and these are ideas collected from a lot of other people that I'm expressing to you guys. So most people who own this pipe love it. They're proud of it. They would buy it again. You know, they just have a few qualms here and there. But overall, everyone who has this pipe really, really loves it. So if you guys are interested in picking it up, check out one of the vendors that I mentioned because you don't have to order from Russia anymore. But thank you, Oscar, my Russian friend, authentic Russian man, who came here to shoot this video with me. I appreciate you coming back. I'm so sorry I messed up on the last one. It's so. okay. Just want to do right by you guys, and you know, really appreciate you guys always. Oscar wants thumbs ups, right? Yeah, I want thumbs. So yeah, leave a leave, leave a like. You know, if you like seeing me in the reviews and you like the hookah, leave a like. If you don't, leave a like and then comment like, oh, we don't want that Russian guy, you know, in our in our reviews anymore. Perfect. Well, thank you guys very very much. We really appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys on the next review. Bye, guys.